What's up guys, it's Cody here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. If you're new to the channel, I have a boosted board, which is an electric longboard, and I plan on customizing this out the wazoo. I'm gonna change the entire grip tape. I made my own grip tape and got it designed. And I'm gonna put it right here. I hope it fits. I haven't even looked at it yet. We're gonna find out if it looks good together. And then I actually got a design that's gonna go on the bottom of the board, and I'm also gonna be changing out the wheels here. So I hope it's gonna look good once I'm done. Now, keep in mind, I have never taken grip tape off of a skateboard or a longboard before. I've never taken this particular boosted board apart before. I've looked up some videos on YouTube on how to replace grip tape and how to remove it and all that stuff. So basically a professional at this point, I'm hoping that I'll screw up this board. But we're gonna go on this journey together and hopefully it doesn't turn out terrible. This is an experiment more than it is anything else. So let's go ahead and get into it and everybody just cross your fingers for me, okay? Let's go. So the first thing we wanna do here is get rid of all the screws in the top of the board. That way we can remove the grip tape and then apply the new grip tape. This is also gonna get rid of those trucks on the bottom of the board and make the board a whole lot lighter and a whole lot easier to work with. Now, it was a little bit trickier on the drivetrain side just because it was really hard to get your wrench under that drivetrain in order to hold onto the nuts so you can unscrew the screws. But I ended up grabbing some pliers and those seem to do the trick. All right, so now that I have the trucks off the board, now what I'm gonna do is take off this grip tape right here. So I'm gonna heat it all up with this tiny little hair dryer that I have right here. Not exactly what I want. A heat gun would probably work a little bit better, but I think this will work just fine. Uh, I'm just gonna heat up the outside of it and then I'm gonna peel it up with a razor blade and then hopefully I can pull this all off in two pieces because this back part of the uh, boosted board is actually a, a grittier grip tape. So it's actually a completely different piece. So hopefully this will all come off pretty cleanly and then I can apply the new one. So let's give it a shot. All right, so I'm gonna start at the nose of the board here and heat this up with my tiny little hair dryer. And the reason for that is it's gonna heat up the adhesive and make the grip tape a whole lot easier to pull off all in one piece. So I'm also gonna go around the perimeter of the board with my razor blade, just so the edge of the grip tape doesn't catch. And I can try to get this all off in one piece without it ripping as I'm pulling down. So this method actually ended up working out really well and I was able to get the entire first piece, the large piece off in one single piece. So nothing ripped or anything like that. And I think I gotta attribute this to the grip tape not being in bad condition. It was still in really good condition. So I didn't have to heat up anything else with a hair dryer except for the nose of the board. And I didn't have to go all the way around the perimeter of the board with the razor blade. So I just got it started and then it all came off all in one piece until I got to the tail of the board with that grittier grip tape. So again, with the tail of the board, we're gonna hit it with the hair dryer and then go around the perimeter with the razor blade. One thing to keep in mind if you're doing this at home is keep that razor blade at an angle, that way you're not going straight across at a 90 degree angle. You want it to be up at around you know, 45 degrees or so just so you're getting under that grip tape while at the same time lifting up the grip tape that you've already passed through. All right, so that actually wasn't too bad. Uh, it came off really easy and I thought I was gonna have to score the entire perimeter of the board, but I really just did the, the tips and was able to just pull it right off and it came off pretty cleanly. So I guess before we actually apply the grip tape, let's take a look to see what the grip tape actually looks like. Now, I haven't even taken this out yet uh, because I started to take it out and I didn't think I was gonna get it back in and I didn't know when I was gonna make this video. So let's hope this actually looks cool. This is the grip tape that I designed. I can't remember the, the actual website that I got this from but I'll link it down below. All right guys, moment of truth. If this sucks, I'm sorry, I'm still putting it on there because I already took the other part off or the other grip tape off. All right. So far so good. Got my logo right there. That looks pretty sick. It smells like Terrible. I don't know what that is, but it stinks. This is the full length. That's what my boosted board is gonna look like. If you haven't noticed, I'm really in this purple phase. I don't know, purple's my thing right now. And I think this is gonna look pretty awesome if I can apply it correctly. So let's just hope that I can do that. Let's give it a shot. So this was probably the hardest part of the entire thing, just because I wanted to get on there perfectly straight and it was really difficult to do and I was in a really small space and this was the first time for me ever doing it, but I was able to get it on there pretty straight and ended up pretty happy with the result. All right, so I'm just gonna take this screwdriver 
and then score it around the uh, perimeter of the board. That way it'll make it a whole lot easier to actually cut it from the underside. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'll start from the side here. This might be a little trickier. All right, so let's do this side. It's right here in these edges that it's uh, trying to crinkle up. All right, I think that's actually pretty good. All right, so now that the grip tape is scored, all I have to do is take my razor blade and cut along the outer edge of the entire board, which took a minute or two to get used to, but once you get a feel for it, it's actually really easy to do. And then once I was done, I just went around the edges with a razor blade to clean up any jagged or wavy cuts. All right, so we got the grip tape done and I could not be happier with this. I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, now we're gonna do the undercarriage. The undercarriage is gonna get a little TLC. So we're gonna customize that. I'm actually just gonna put a skin on it. We'll see how it looks. I haven't looked at that either. So let's find out what it looks like. These came from Slick Wraps. So these are the colors that I got. It's mostly just black. There's a little bit of purple in there. These colors are obviously gonna be a little bit more vibrant just because uh, it doesn't. it's not grip tape, it's just a sticker. So let's just go ahead and apply these and see what they look like. So these weren't too difficult to apply. It actually came with several extra pieces in case you screwed up, which I thought was nice. Uh, I didn't have to use any of them, but I guess down the road, if I screw one of the pieces up, I can replace it. All right, so this turned out okay. It's not great. Uh, you can see right here that there's a gap on this side as well as a gap right over here. So this piece is just too short on both ends. So I made it look as good as I could. There's still some gaps, unfortunately, but you know, it still looks all right. And you're not gonna see this side of the board very often anyway. Now let's go ahead and put the trucks back on and then I'll actually change out the wheels. All right, so here are the wheels. Let's go ahead and open them up. And you know, we got them purple wheels. Woo! Man, these, these look better than I thought they were gonna look. These are the exact same wheels that we have here, the orangutan, they're just, instead of orange, they're purple. Let's get these guys installed. Right, guys that's pretty much all i got for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i think this board turned out awesome if you guys don't like purple and pink well this might not be your taste i mean the grip tape turned out extraordinarily better than i thought it was going to i think the colors popped really well and i didn't anticipate that just because it was grip tape i've never gotten custom grip tape before i thought the colors were going to be a little bit more faded than they are so I was really happy with that. But also the wheels, the wheels turned out really good. I thought they were gonna be a whole lot more dull just from the picture on Amazon that they have. So I was really stoked with that. And the bottom of the board, I'm warming up to it. I think it looks pretty good. It does have those gaps the right by the battery and the drivetrain. But other than that, it's really not that big of a deal. I think the purple, the pink, and the black all just ties in really well and just makes everything look awesome. But of course, let me know if you love it or you hate it in the comments below. I look forward to reading your comments. And let me know if you guys are into custom tech. I'm actually thinking about doing a series of customized tech where, you know, it'd be just videos like this or like my custom iPhone 7 video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description too. But if you guys wanna see a series like that, just let me know and I'll start working on it. All right guys, I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the shares. Thank you for watching. If you guys wanna see more of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.